you too, what's going on? It's Trucker Sherm. Hey, I'm always quick to talk about sinking and swimming, right? Well, today I, I sunk, man. I ain't even got no excuses. I screwed up, y'all. Um, yeah. <sighs> this morning, the night before Thanksgiving was my last night working. See that? I forgot to put them in my tanks. I plugged up my truck. I went to visit family for Thanksgiving. Came home this morning. Woke up this morning motivated. Ready to get to the money. Went to turn the key. Nothing. So we at. It's about. After 12 in the afternoon. I've been up. I've been up since 5 in the morning. <laughs> dealing with this truck. My truck jailed up on me. So, what I did was, you could buy you could buy the little torpedo heater. It's like a kerosene torpedo heater. They sell them at Lowe's. I ain't feel like driving that far. So what I did was, I got a heat gun. And what I did was, I'm gonna explain it verbally, and then I'm gonna show you step by step how you could do it. Now, if you had a truck stop or something, if you got a power inverter or something you could run off this, you don't need to call roadside. You don't need uh, you don't need to spend extra money. I mean, if you're a company driver, then you got to do what you got to do. But in my situation, you know, running my own show, I wasn't calling roadside. If I had to be out here all night trying to get this thing going, I, I was going to do it. As you can hear, as you can see in the video, I got that thing running. I lost out on money in the process. I'm upset about that, but I got that thing running. So what I did was, usually what happens when your truck gels up, your, your lines and your fuel filter, your water separator, it clogs up. So that's what happened to me. The, the, the first indication was under your fuel filter, there's a little lever that you can push, pull up and down. When you release, when you pull it down, it releases the the diesel. Wasn't nothing coming out of there, so I'm like, okay, that was the culprit. So what I did was I kept, I keep. Whenever I go to the dealership, if you and if you're an owner operator, you could relate. If you're looking into getting your own truck, whenever you go to the dealership, the dealership to get a fuel filter, don't get like one or two, get like four or five. So that's what I did. I got about uh, four or five, I get about four or five uh, fuel filters at a time. So what I did was, I went in the back, I got a little toolbox in the back of my truck, got me an old, got me a new filter, took out the old one. Now here was the issue. The issue was since I couldn't release the, the diesel, how I usually do if you're changing your fuel filter, I had to just unhook I mean, like unloosen everything and have it just, the old diesel just fall everywhere. That was my only option. I was upset about that, but I know my wife gonna be upset. Hey, <laughs> it's diesel all over my driveway. <laughs> yeah. My driveway looking like a truck stop right now. The wifey, the wifey hot. <laughs> but um, that's what I did. I unhooked from the bottom of the the, the filter, the, the large part that you unhook from, and let it all fall. I didn't have anything to really put it in, so I just had to rock it out. So um, that's what I did. I put the new fuel filter on, but the lines now were still clogged. So what I did was I put a little bit of this in your fuel in my fuel filter. I didn't overkill it. I just put a little bit in there and. Uh, I, it, it, on, on the side of your uh, on your fuel not the actual filter but your fuel pump you have a primer that you can unscrew and you can prime that's what I was doing so now we about to take it to um what happened like out like real lifetime right now that's what we about to do check this out like I said 
you run your extension cord. You see right here? I changed the fuel filter. Put a new fuel filter in. And I put my heat gun by my fuel lines. This is usually what clogs up when your truck gels, your lines. See where your line comes? And my fuel pump is right here. Hold on. My fuel pump is right here, so what I did was I unscrewed this and I primed it. That allows everything to flow smoothly. Oh, let me show y'all. Look at all this diesel. <laughs> all this diesel on the ground. <laughs> I got, I got my driveway looking like, looking like the, the TA right now. I came in the house this morning. I had mag diesel on me. <laughs> Wifey said I sound like I smell like a jet. <laughs> I was in the house smelling like Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> I had to change my clothes out. I was determined, y'all. But here you go. Use it. Uh, I, I was slipping the other night. I ain't afraid to admit that. Get you a heat gun. I mean, if you want to do it faster, you can use a kerosene torpedo heater. Set it there. But I, the way I look at it, you're going to have to uh, babysit what's going on under the hood anyway because you don't want to burn up under the hood. So I, instead of going all the way to Lowe's to get a torpedo heater, I just use my, my heat gun attack the lines now I'm back rolling man now I'm back rolling man so I hope this helped y'all I mean it's the winter it was 7 degrees this morning man and like I said I it was Thanksgiving I, I just was thinking about chilling with my family you know what I mean so I kind of neglected this but it happens, man. I'm good. I'm good for getting up here talking about sinking and swimming. And uh, my man trucking in life, if you're watching this, I know you're dying right now. Especially with how me and you was conversing with the emojis I was putting. So, yeah, I sunk today, but I got up out of there. Hey, thanks for watching. This is with all trucks, man. If if you gel up, it's a quick alternative to you know get your truck rolling. Just use the uh, the heat gun. If you had a truck stop somewhere and um, you got power where you can run something off of your inver inverter, or you got you know something that like an inverter so that can that can uh, withstand the wattage, use a heat gun, man. Keep you some fuel filters and all that in your truck. And uh, you'll be all right. This truck is charm. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope y'all was full. I hope your turkey wasn't dry. <laughs> my man, my man called me and said he had some dry turkey. <laughs> he had some dry turkey from his in-law house, and he wasn't feeling it. So uh, that was kind of funny because you can't disrespect turkey like that, man. You got to throw something on some gravy on there, or something. But yeah, man, I hope everybody had a wonderful uh, holiday, man. It's Black Friday. Spend it up. Take care. God bless. Love and peace. Peace and love. I'm out.